What is up, YouTube, man? I'm coming with y'all with a little video, man. You feel me? Off my phone, you feel me? Been doing a lot of money spending today, you feel me? So I come to, you know, just to holler at the people that do check me out, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Opening this tablet. Because I'm, okay. So, first things first. I've been neglecting the channel, you feel me? So I I I can admit, you know what I'm saying? I must admit, you feel me? But why I had went today, you know, just went to uh Best Buy to get a couple things and you know because you know we trying to you know do the YouTube thing and trying to grind, you feel me? So it was some things that I had to get. And I thought these were some gift cards, but I was gonna be like, oh. They like, man, we ain't giving y'all no money. But anyways, I had to get a couple purchases. They gave me a little tablet so I could put all my music on. So, you know, I could organize my music. So I could be putting out a little bit more music. You feel me? So that's for anybody who was, you know, wondering about that. Like, am I uh, done with music and... All this. So tonight, you know, I'm pretty much going to be editing music. You feel me? So, um, and I just wanted to speak on something. You know, I had a dream this morning about uh, it was like everywhere. So, you know, it was some you know little key points in the dream that I'm gonna you know speak on. You know, somebody probably finna walk up in here. But, um, yeah. Bae! Oh, that ain't her. But anyways, um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. But yeah, um, <clears throat> as y'all can see, little picture on the wall, that's, that's, <laughs> my wife desk was over there, but we moved it. And my, uh, Daughter, little dead, little colored. What is that crayon? But anyway, um, we just finna switch a lot of things up on this channel, and you know, start giving you guys more content. So, you feel me? What I wanted to talk about. So I, I didn't just want to get on here and just say that, you know, because I'd rather show what I'm about to do than say. You know, I don't like I don't like being that type of person. Mini spider, bro. So, anyways, we uh, okay, I see where that's coming from. So, okay, so anyways, we we gonna start really putting forth effort on the channel, and you know, it's a lot of things that I want to do, like stream. And... Who is that? Oh, I told y'all somebody was gonna come up here. So crank streaming and um just just tackling every aspect that I like to you know go for. You feel what I'm saying? Cause there's a lot of things that I like to do and a lot of things that I just like in general. You feel me? Streaming is one thing that I want to do. You know I got the PS5, so you know I play all types of stuff. You feel me? But um. Stuff that I probably shouldn't, but it is, you know, I, I just like gaming, you know, so I don't hold it against myself. Hopefully, won't nobody else, but yeah, man, so tonight, man, I'm going to be editing music, and what I wanted to get to talking about was, uh, you know, just basically like the younger generation, like, I feel like um, <clears throat> from my dream... You know, just one part of the dream, it was showing, like, I was in the church, like, real quick. You know hear I me? Mean? But, um, so it wasn't, like, a long, a long situation. So, you know, like, some of them long dreams in depth, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like that. It was real quick. So, um, you know, it was like I looked in the back was like the younger generation and in the front, I had look, it was like older people, but I didn't realize that that was going on until I had, uh, 
you know, woke up and, and thought about it, you know, put two and two together. So, you know, I, I'm kind of feeling like, you know, um, we got to stop neglecting the, the youth. You feel what I'm saying? Because um, we can all say that, you know, when we were younger, that, you know, someone taught us the right way, you know, because these days um, they mix in a little bit of lie and truth. So this for, disclaimer, this channel is only to represent believers in Christ. Let's, let's say that first and foremost. Um, so if if you don't believe in Christ, this 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 is really just just genuinely. If you really want to understand like how to have faith in Christ, you know this is this is for you. But if you're not trying to, you know, you you saying Allah, Buddhism, and all that, you know, you can just 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 keep on having your little peace talks and your kumbaya or somewhere else. You feel what I'm saying? So lately, you know, I've been getting closer to my wife, and you know. So I'm I'm starting. It's like a shift happening within my dreams. You know, at first it was it was to the point where uh, certain tempting situations uh, I will fall for in the dreams that I'm not falling for right now. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, and that's just all about putting my energy in the right place. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, when you put your mind, when you put things in your mind. You got to sort it out. You feel me? So, like, say you got a porn addiction, for example. Um, the way that you you can start changing it and sorting it out is first repenting, asking for forgiveness for that sin. That's a start. And then, um, you know, start denying it and, 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 and denying your flesh and not feeding into it. That's what really I've been working on lately. It's just not falling for, you know, temptation of drinking and, you know, I should I should be able to be around certain people, even unbelievers, and you know, not be equally yoked with them. But you know, they should when they see me, I shouldn't look the same as them. I shouldn't be doing the same things. You know, so it's going on two years that I have been, um, two or three, two going on three years of me not smoking because time flies. You feel what I'm saying? So. Um, you know, I took a drink of wine, like, a couple of months ago, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've been on this whole different route, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even be wanting to drink. Um, of course I don't want to smoke, you know what I'm saying? I've been clean from smoking for a couple of years now, so, you know, that's, this, this is all... You know, so in in saying everything, you know, I, I, I'm going to get back to the point, which was um, I feel like we neglecting the youth. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's not a lot of parents that's teaching their kids to live righteously. You feel what I'm saying? Or not directing them, getting them to understand Christ. And these is Christian families. You feel me? Families that claim that they believe in Christ, like, because it was some neglect um, when I was growing up. You know what I'm saying? It was things that, you know, I got two, I'm on two sides of the fence. On my mama's side, they smoking, drinking, pollen, you feel me? But on my dad's side, they more stern, but, you know, it's still some things that they do as well. So, you know, they, you know, I hit my kids with real life, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I explain things to them. I explain what is good, what is bad. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not cause cause the world wanna become this place where we we act, we wanna act like we don't know what's right and what's wrong. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, and it's children and it's young youngins that think like that. And we gotta explain to them like I know I'm saying it, you feel me, but I'm just saying it, you feel me? Um I've tried you know, like with younger, the younger people, but it's it's a reason that they're hard headed. You feel what I'm saying? So, I feel like it comes from the parent. It starts with the parent. Um, a lot of parents say, "Well, 
God didn't give us no, uh, God didn't give us, no, we didn't get no book or the book is the Bible. If you teach them wrong from right, you know what I'm saying? It's not saying that they always going to be wrong. It's not saying that they always going to be right, but they will learn through the experience and you explaining that this is an experience and something that you have to go through. Some things is things you have to go through. You know, to understand why, uh, for example, my daughter, you know, sometimes she li she lies. You feel me? I'm going to call it what it is. I'm not finna be on here saying kids don't lie and children are always on. No, they sometimes they be scared to tell the truth because they they fear punishment. You feel what I'm saying? Whether that's no game for the for the rest of the month or uh, a spanking or. Um, standing in the corner, whatever the case may be, they fear the punishment. So I've been working on, okay, if you tell the truth, you not, you, you saving yourself from trouble because later down in the road, you know, when you do be honest, then it's, it's not going to do anything but help you only in the satanic world, uh, where everything is backwards. Is it, is it going to hurt you for telling the truth? You see what I'm saying? So, and I was raised differently. So, I try to implement understanding. You feel me? So, if, you're, if, if these kids walking around and don't understand anything but the rap music that they're listening to, they're not going to understand Christ because everything that they are into is against Christ. So, you know, I'm, I'm saying that, 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 that we need to... Uh, and sometimes parents start way too late. See, the Lord will rather us get it, get things nipped in the bud as a ch as them as being children, because you know once they get a certain age, they're not going to, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be hard to try try to de turn them from the wrong that they they might fall into. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know that's really what I've been working on with my family and my children, just working on. You know, not neglecting them, you feel me, in that department. You feel me? God has made it so I am able to be here to implement understanding to my children. They not finna be walking around 40, 50 years old and not understanding what's right and wrong. You see what I'm saying? Because, come on, it's some of us 40, 50, 60 years old still do things like we don't know what's real, what's fake, what's... Right, what's wrong, what's evil, what's good. You feel what I'm saying? So, God has called us to the holiness through Jesus Christ. Again, like I said in my past, in some of my past videos, do your own research. Don't be sitting up here believing everything that I say. Why it say if faith shall abound, shall we should we continue in sin? I don't know the exact scripture. I'm on the computer anyway, so I could, you know, look up, look it up. So, you know, you would know exactly where to go, you know, because it, it's like we think, oh, you know, because we keep asking Christ to repent. That's why you have to make changes. It's not saying that you're going to change everything as soon as you pray. Everything's just going to magically change. No, because you have to work on you. You feel me? So, if, because we going we gonna, to, uh, we going to read it word for word. KJV. So, What you want? I'm up here trying to do a video. Here you come in your drawers talking about lotion. Close that door. I don't need all that outside noise, bro. Okay. So that grace may abound. See, that's why I'm reading it. So I can know exactly what it say. 
So shall we then continue in sin that grace may abound? Paul replies with a resounding, God forbid. So uh, that's Romans 6, 1. Romans chapter 6, verse 1 to 2. Okay, what shall we say then? Because how they got it is confused. Okay, 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 never mind, never mind. That's what it is. Romans 6, 1, 2. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? So again, you feel me? It's not, we all fall short because of sin. But if you continue to operate within the spirit of Christ, which is the spirit of holiness, you feel me? You will not, you will begin to not, you will, listen, you will begin to not desire sin. But it's, it starts with faith in Christ. You want to know why it starts with faith in Christ? Because you have to, re, you repent of your sins, boom. That's an act of faith. And faith, let's look up the definition of faith. Because these days, like I say, we need guidance, bro. Like certain, certain things, I used to look up words in the Bible, bro, in the dictionary. Thank you, sir. Complete trust or confidence in somewhere or some something. You feel me? So, you know, then the second definition, strong belief in God or the doctrines of a religion. But we're not going to say that Christ is necessarily, the Bible is not necessarily a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. You feel what I'm saying? So everything that in, in the, that is in the Bible is proven true but you gotta have faith to test it out see if you lack faith then you're going to say oh the bible is fake and this and that like you get you got people with more faith in sin then they they got more faith in doing the wrong thing and, and because look religion is the belief in and worship of a superhuman controlling power god is not a superhuman you feel what i'm saying god is god and it's about holiness. It's not about being superhuman, having superpowers. Uh, 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 uh. You know, it's like the turning water to wine concept. People think he just snapped his fingers and it's, it's a whole faith process that happened. You feel what I'm saying? Which I don't have, I'm not trying to get into that. But again, when you believe and understand that sin is bad through Christ, through through repenting for your sin and through Christ, faith in Christ, then you begin to understand how Christ is real, how Christ is God. Jesus Christ is God. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. We neglecting the youth because we 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 neglecting faith. And that's why we don't teach our kids to have faith you feel what i'm saying and that's why they grow up and they not control like most adults and oh just working just work you feel me work by go to sleep work by eat go to sleep you know what i'm saying they not programmed the same because back then it was all about work 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 that's all my family had to talk about is you working is you work you know what i'm saying so i said a whole lot of things to say we're neglect in the household. The reason why the household is falling is because we neglect faith. And in that, we're neglecting the youth. You got fathers, uh, instead of instead of it being marriage in the home, it's dad is roaming the streets with with with, with uh, a horse. You feel what I'm saying? And you know, what is a whore? 
You feel me? Somebody who pays for sex. And, 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 but you play yourself as a whore when you just send fornicating and, 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 and just putting your body with anybody. So we got Rolling Stone dads. We got bitter moms because of lack of structure in the in in the home. There is no structure in, in and we I'm I'm gonna speak specifically for black people. You feel what I'm saying? If 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 I ain't if I don't have any other listeners, you know I'm not here to disrespect anyone, but there is no structure. See, we got to have faith in Christ to even for us to even be the right way. You feel me? You could be a good person all day. You don't but you don't have faith in Christ. You don't doubt with faith in Christ you're going to hell. So, that faith brings forth repentance. That's that, that's the whole understanding. That faith in Christ brings forth repentance because Christ died on the cross for the remission of our sins. So we can have he was like the middleman, but he's really the man. You feel me? The God, but the middle, the middle between us, us is him, and then is hell. You see what I'm saying? So it's not like, oh, you was a good person, but you never prayed. You never prayed to Christ, right? You you was a good person though. You 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 know what I'm saying? In this Bible verses to bag everything up that I'm saying. You was a good person, but you never prayed to Christ. So, you you said my good doing was over your. You saying, see, this is what you this is what you hypothetically saying. Think about it. You saying my good doing it, it should cover it should have covered my sin because the Lord said, if a man say he has in sin, he has deceived himself. So you saying my good doing has covered my sins. So you will see how all this is connected. So if we just tell our children to be good, you feel me? But they have to understand what good is. Where has it, where did good come from? You see what I'm saying? Because they gonna hit you with who's to say that that's right? Who's to say that that's wrong? You see what I'm saying? So we have to understand where these concepts came from. The concept of good and evil came from the Holy Bible, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. And your good deeds, your good actions are not going to cover your sins. You feel me? So again, we need... See, Christ shed his blood because we not sacrificing sheep and doing all that. You feel me? That's what the heathen would do. Somebody who don't know no better. So that's why God gave us the gift of repentance, bro. So we can work it out with him. You feel me? Because he will forgive you. So again... Through the homosexuality, some people tied in homosexuality because they believe that they won't be forgiven. God will forgive you of all your sins, bro. Especially the sins that you're doing in ignorance, saying you don't know no better. You really truly don't know no better. So that's what it starts. But when I'm saying with the youth, it's, it's about helping them understand why wrong is wrong and why right is right. Wrong is wrong. Because Satan is the one who brought forth sin. You feel what I'm saying? And why right is right is because God brought forth the truth. Jesus Christ is a manifest is a, is the is the manifestation of God. God was the you know the Holy Spirit manif you know was manifested through Christ the flesh. So the spirit already existed and it manifested. We all, come on, these days, everybody always talking about manifesting and all this. But uh, underdig me, you feel me? The, the spirit of God manifested in the flesh. You feel me? So it's not two gods. It's not a God up the, because the Bible going to tell you the hope. 
uh, ah, man, man. See, I don't be knowing the scripture by heart, but I know it. Everything, every title that Christ consists of. So the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, these three are one. Look that up. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying, folks. You feel me? I don't have to lie to nobody and, and make it seem like the Bible. You just don't understand the way the Bible is written. And that's why you think it's two guys up there. You think you think Jesus going to somebody saying, yeah, let him in heaven. Oh, okay. No, he is the one in heaven. You feel what I'm saying? That is dictating what's going on. You feel what I'm saying? So... You know, we got to get these kids to understand that. You feel me? Because, cause, you know, my kids, I don't care what y'all, you know, and God forbid that I die, my, you know what I'm saying, something happened to my wife because I want to bring my kids up the right way. The Lord say, when it comes to children, bring your children up in the admonition of the Lord. So, you know, bring them up in the way of Christ, bro. Like, how them understanding that? Because, again, it don't matter how good I am, my good deeds do not cover my sin. And that's what these children need to also know. But it's hard for them to do good when they don't even understand the concept of good and evil. So are we neglecting the youth? My answer is yes. You feel me? In so many ways. Some people are bringing their children up. You know, the right way. But there's too many kids out here dying. There's too many mamas out here crying. You feel what I'm saying? And some of these kids, y'all starting too late with telling them. Like, my, my oldest daughter is six, about to turn seven. Like, come on, bro. And I'm our, she got two siblings behind her that's a year, they all a year apart from each other. So, if she's seven and my son is six, then and then my daughter turning five. Five, six, seven. So they all they all gonna be turning them ages this year. So I be you know just telling them certain things, telling them stuff about the Bible and telling them about teaching them. Like even when I mess up, I repent right there with them. You feel me, Lord? Forgive me for the evil. I always say, if I like, cause sometimes I might slip up and say something or. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I'm from the hood. I'm from, you know, I might say things a certain type of way. But I say, Lord Jesus, forgive me for the evil things that I've said and done before I go to bed. Because some things we might say, man, I didn't know that that was wrong. That's why God gave us repentance. You feel me? Because, you know, he understands that we human, bro. You feel me? He understands that. But we act like we don't get it. He is God and we as humans. He understanding. The word shows you that he understands, bro. Come on, look at Paul. You feel me? He didn't save so many murderers, murdering God's people. You feel me? And he changed that man's lives. You feel me? So that's what I'm saying for real, man. You feel me? We don't want to be stubborn and see this world right in front of us because we think everything that we see is going to last forever. No, but what is going to last, the only thing that's going to last forever, I'm saying never die. You feel me? It's Christ's word. I guarantee you that. It cannot be killed. You know what I'm saying? So they can say, if it, if this, it, 3,000 years, whatever. Bro, the Bible has been the foundation of the earth forever. Because that's what the earth is going to get judged by. The word. You feel me? You see what I'm saying? It's only one God. You say Allah, Woody Woo, you call God, you you going talking about you going to God in a false name. Guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna go, you're gonna end up, if you die in that, you're gonna go to hell. You can repent. Lord Jesus, forgive me for calling you any other name than yours. Thinking that this was God, because this is what my family told me, or this is what I was raised in. See, I my daddy wasn't no Christian. My mama ain't give me Christ. You feel me? But Christ came through me through my wants, what I wanted to do, which was make music. And I had, I had to understand when I was making music that it was only two ways, and that's good and evil. 
because I had experiences. I could have sold my soul and all that, bro. Y'all don't know my story because I barely be saying stuff like that. I be trying to move on with the now. But that's why I do the music that I do now because I could have sold my soul. I had uh, spiritual experiences. You feel me? So, you know, I just say that just to say that. And, you know, on to the next video. Are we neglecting the youth? I think we are, man. Peace.